what's up guys it's josh back with another video and today i want to show you guys how to use the linux firewall So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys how to use and manipulate the Linux firewall. And what I'm going to do is show you guys how to actually do all this on a Linux server, more specifically Ubuntu 20.04. And I already had a server set up. But before I get started, I just wanted to go down and tell you guys that I recorded a video about a year ago, or it's been over a year since I recorded that video. And it was basically on UFW, which is what I want to show you guys how to actually use in this video. But that previous video was super bad. So I wanted to go through and go on and re-record this and basically show you guys how to use UFW on the server so let's hop to the server and get started okay so i'm connected to the server using ssh and just so you guys know ufw is disabled by default so whenever you install a linux server ufw will actually be disabled and the reason they do that is so you can set up your ssh rule within the firewall before enabling it because if you enable it without opening up the port for port 22, which is SSH, then you won't be able to connect to the server at all. So it's very important that you understand that's the reason why it's disabled and you don't want to enable it without activating that port within the firewall. So the first thing I wanna do is show you guys the man page for UFW. And just to kind of explain what UFW is, it is basically it's basically an application that sits on top of the official firewall which is ip tables it's just ufw makes it very uncomplicated in using the firewall because when typing out rules using ip tables it's a little bit more difficult and more confusing for people that are new to linux so this app's application was created to assist people with managing the firewall using super simple commands so let's press enter here like i said this is the man page i want to read a little bit about it but basically it's a program for managing a net filter firewall so like i stated ip tables is really the official firewall that's running in the background on your linux server it's just ufw kind of sits on top of it like it says right here in the description this program is for managing a linux firewall and aims to provide an easy to use interface for the user and here are some examples of how to actually use it i'm gonna go through the most common commands you need to actually manipulate the firewall uh i won't bore you with a whole bunch but i just wanted to at least show you guys the man page so you can see the documentation that's available to you if you're trying to use this application so let's go down and quit right fast and the first thing first command i want to run is the status command and so basically the command is uh and you have to use sudo unless you're in your root account but i'm gonna run sudo ufw and status and this is just to show you guys that the firewall is actually disabled so status press enter and then you have to type in your pseudo password and then as you can see the status of it is inactive so if you remember what i told you guys you don't want to enable ufw until you open up a specific port which is port 22 send some ssh into the server now if you connect it directly to it it doesn't matter at that point just know that you have to you know enable those ports if you're connected to it remotely so if it's like something in the cloud you want to make sure you have that port open you know what i'm saying because you can lose access to your server unless they have a console for you to connect directly to the system but if it doesn't have a console you know you lose you know access to it now let me go down and show you something that's super cool that's included with the uh ufw command it's one of the options that you can use but they have within UFW a list of apps, which is what they call it. But it's basically applications that are installed on the system. And it's really all based on what's installed on the system. So I'm gonna run this command right fast, but it's sudo. Let me move my mouse out of the way so you guys can see, but sudo UFW app 
and then list and this will list out all the applications that are available on the system and right now the only application on the server is open ssh that actually needs to connect through maybe a port or something on the system like for instance if you had apache installed on the system which i'm gonna do a little later i'm gonna go down and install apache and show you guys that it's listed as an available application on the system but this is what we want to open up first before we enable the firewall so let me go down and show you guys how to open up port and like i said this is specifically for open ssh and we're going to use that name that's one reason why i want to show you guys this you can use this name to simply enable the rule for open ssh so the command is simply sudo ufw and then allow and then open ssh and you want to type it exactly like it says right there or it's spelt right there so open and then the capital ssh boom press enter and that'll actually add that rule now that we had that rule enabled then it's safe to actually enable the firewall so let me go down and show you guys how to do that now but the command to do that is simply sudo ufw and then enable and one cool thing about this command is it will enable the firewall so when you reboot the system it will start the firewall automatically so i'm gonna type y for yes and we shouldn't lo lose our connection and as you can see it does give you some output right here where it says firewall is active and enabled on system startup so whenever you reboot the server the firewall will come up during the boot process so just wanted to point that out to you guys and the reason it asks you yes right here i just want to reiterate that uh, the reason i asked you yes right there is because you want to make sure you have that rule enabled for open ssh otherwise you're going to lose your connection and that's why it says right here command may disrupt existing ssh connection uh proceed with this operation yes or no now that that's done let's go on and run a status right fast so you guys can actually see the firewall rules so let's run sudo ufw and then status and press enter and that will show you the status of what's actually open so as you can see uh the firewall is active and here are the applications that are open you know what i'm saying that uh, is allowing traffic through the firewall and as you can see it's an open ssh and open ssh version 6 so that's basically ip version 6 as well is open now that i showed you that this will be a good opportunity to actually show you how to see even more information by looking at the status command so we're going to run this same command but i'm going to add another option to it but it's called verbose and verbose will basically give you a little bit more information on your firewall so let's press enter as you can see right here it gives you uh like logging information so it's on low uh default deny incoming allow outgoing disable routing routed and new profile skip and then you know also the ports open again so i just wanted to show you that that'll give you a little bit more information when running this status command using ufw now let me go down and uh quickly install another application so sudo uh apt updates and then i'm just updating the system right fast to run some you know package updates and then install apache right fast so sudo apt install and i believe it's uh apache 2 i'm gonna just tab it out and just make sure yeah apache 2 so let's press enter and that'll install apache and apache is super small doesn't take that long to install it so we'll run through this right fast but my whole purpose for installing it is to show you guys that it'll now list it under ufw as an application and i'll show you guys that in a second when this, this actually finishes all right cool so it finished installing apache now let's go down and run sudo ufw and then that same command app list so we can list out the applications that are available to it and as you can see it has three different available applications and the reason it's broken up like that is because uh apache i believe that's just port 80 uh apache full is port 80 and 443 and then apache secure is just port 443 
by itself so it breaks it up based on the ports that you're trying to use as well as both ports you know you got both ports open uh, by doing the apache full so i just mainly wanted to show you guys that the app list is all based on what's installed on the server whatever applications that you have available that require ports to be open in order to use it now let me switch over to now let me switch over to my browser right fast so i can show you guys that the firewall is actually working okay cool so i know that the i know what the ip address is so i'm gonna just type it in but it's 192.168.10.147 which so just find out whatever your uh server ip address is by running like ip space a that'll give you the ip address but let's press enter right fast we have apache installed but as you can see it's spinning you can't find it you can't find any web server out there okay so just to quickly show you how to activate it or activate the actual port let's go down and go back to the terminal and enable apache right fast and then we'll switch back over to the browser so you guys can see that the port is finally open so let's type sudo ufw allow and then apache we're just going to do apache the first one and press enter and that'll open up the rule for that now let's switch back over to our website browser or our browser and i'm gonna just uh stop it and refresh ah so we're gonna have to type it in again but 192.168.10.147 boom press enter boom and as you can see it's open now so that port is actually open uh based on you know our changes right there so i just wanted to give you guys a real world example of you opening up the ports and traffic is allowed to come through the firewall okay cool so the next thing i want to do is show you guys how to actually remove something and this will be an opportunity to actually show you guys something else or another option that you could add similar to the verbos uh now if we go back if we go up one uh and actually i'll just show you guys the verbose one that's fine or actually just the status by itself i'll show you guys that right fast uh just so you guys can see that apache is added and that's basically port 80. so let's press up again and all we have to do is add another option on the end of it and then this option is called numbered and this is something that you'll need so you don't have to type out the full name of the application so status number press enter and as you can see what it does is adds a number to each one of the applications so that's super beneficial in order to quickly remove something let's say we want to remove a specific port uh, we can specify that by the number and all we have to do is type let's say sudo and what i'm gonna do is do that version 6 one i'm gonna remove that apache uh, version 6 one so let's go sudo uh ufw and then just type deletes and then four and we'll remove that one first uh and then it'll actually ask you if you want to remove it or basically like a verification so all you have to do is type yes i want to remove that and then also let's go back in let's hit the status uh numbered again and you'll see that the version six one is going now but let's say we want to remove the second one as well or number two so all we got to do is do two as well boom type y for yes press enter and that rule is deleted and just to go back to the status uh again we'll see that open ssh is the only thing that's there now as far as rules go and then let's go down and switch back over to the website or my browser and we might as well refresh again just so you guys can see but it should be blocking port and as you can see that's why it's spinning like that but it's blocking port 80 on the server again so we're good to go that basically you know shows you how to delete a rule once it's been added and lastly just to show you guys if you want to use like a specific port like a port number you don't have to use these applications like i showed you if you want to type in a specific port like i know some people they'll use like a non-standard port for open ssh like for instance 2222 i've seen people do that so you can type in just adding a rule specifically for a port itself so let's type sudo 
UFW allow and it's just like adding an application you know what I'm saying but instead you just typing in the actual port number so I want to add two 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 I mean two 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 and press enter it'll add that rule and then we can go back into the status again as you can see it added two 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 now let's say we want to delete it I just want to show you guys this and the only reason I want to show you guys this because this is the way you actually type it out and versus using the numbers but you can remove port 22 and this will remove both the regular version or the IP version 4 version and the IP version 6 version together so it's important to you know understand how to do it this way as well so let's type sudo ufw delete and then you have to type allow and i know it's a little weird but basically what you're you're uh putting in is the action so allow that's basically what this rule is doing allow and then port 2222 and if we press enter that'll remove that rule and if we go back to the status you know numbered again we'll see that open ssh is the only one there again now i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got something out of it this should be a basic understanding of using the ufw command to manipulate your firewalls on your linux server and as you can see it's a very simple command it's a very simple way of managing the firewall on your server so all you have to do is learn these simple commands and then use the man page as a reference in case you want to get a little bit more out of using ufw and the firewall but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel as always if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techy